Okay, here in Chictawaga where that basement flooded. So what we're gonna do, obviously there isn't as much as we need to do originally, so we're going to replace tiles. And we got one, two, three, four. Before we do, we're gonna take and get this grid straightened out that's right in through here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of the two by fours, and then you got some two foot strips. You got one, two, three. So we got three of the strips. Okay, um, and they're the they're just a white tile with a bit of a texture on it. This is what we'll look for. We'll look for something to match here. So we're gonna eat up a box there, I believe. And then we're going to take the acoustical tile. Uh, we're gonna have to take this down. I'm thinking, yeah, we'll just get it down and set. Yeah, we're gonna run. We're gonna run the whole acoustical tile thing here. So, uh, what we have is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight. 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64. We need 68 12 by 12 acoustical ceiling tiles that we got to put up. We're going to just clean out all these staples and reinstall this. There's a corner molding here that we should be able to remove and reuse on both sides. Or actually just looks like we might be able to just slide it right in. So that's what we're gonna do here. And then we have, over in this area here, hang on, we're gonna replace paneling from that corner out. Let me just get some lights on in here. Okay, here we go, we got the paneling. So we're gonna end up with, uh, we're gonna remove these panelings. So you got one, we're gonna remove this cabinet here, set it aside. So we got one, two, and a partial. So we're gonna need three pieces of paneling here two pieces that's so five panelings we're going to need an inside molding here reuse the outside so we got five panelings the outside molding nothing over on this this wall here we're going to have to cut and jockey around everything here we got two outlets that we got to cut around uh this box will be removed and reinstalled if they want it reinstalled that'll be up to him up to them but we are going to have to add two more we got uh, two more two by four tiles also that we got to run ceiling tiles that we got to run here um, actually, yeah, this one's kind of warped. Um, then we're going to reinstall this door that the hinges are off. We might have to cut it up. Nothing in the bathroom will be done. <clears throat> Nothing. Oh, I got to go over to the tool room because I think they wanted something over here in this back room. Yeah, we got another acoustical ceiling going up, which is going to be... One, two, three, four, five times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you're gonna need 50 tiles, acoustical tiles in this room here. Clean out the old and uh, nothing over in the tool room here. Okay, I'm gonna go through and make sure all of these things are, all of these two by fours are all buttoned up. Nothing on base moldings is necessary. We're just gonna need that inside corner piece. Like I said, reinstall the door and everything here from here to there. We'll get something close to what they got here and the studding's all back up. We can reuse all the studding that's in here. Uh, there's an there's a there's a um, like a rock wool insulation that's gonna stay on. Okay. So, there's a little bit of a warping on this. Uh, little laminate here. We can get that just pushed in and sealed. See a little bit of a drip in this faucet. And I can understand why. <laughs> okay. Other than that, it's pretty simple. So we'll probably have two guys here for for a day and a half to two, probably two guys, two days close to it. Maybe not. But that's probably what I'm going to bill out for. Let me do the math.